Hi, it's Sabine. I was asked to do a makeup tutorial. I was a bit hesitant to do that because I'm not a great makeup artist. When I was like 14 years old, I experimented a little bit with some makeup. I was 14 and 15 and then I wore makeup again when my wedding came around. I didn't always wear makeup. When I was young, I wore a lot of makeup, actually too much. Then later on, I didn't even wear any more makeup. Lately, I like to wear makeup again. I like to wear makeup now because I'm getting older and I feel like I look fresher and I feel better. Yes, it makes me feel like I look better and I do. But don't forget to smile. It's your inner beauty that counts most of all. I think you call it blush. I don't know why I always say rouge. This one has a convenient mirror. Here's my camera, can I? Let me show you. What I do first is just put a little on and just very lightly just go like this. Very simple. exactly how you apply it. Some people apply it up uh, towards the cheekbone, I guess like this, or under the cheekbone. I just always do it like this. Lately I have learned to rub it off a little, not to make it too red. Okay. This is the one that I have been using, Wild Rose. You know I love roses. I guess that's made for me. Now let me show you what's next. I've been using this and just this, usually just this one color. And I got it, yes I got it at the 99 cents only store. That's right, for only a dollar. I also have this one. I just play with it. But usually my favorite color is this one. Just brown. Let me show you. You see, this is the most used. Like I say, I never used these colors. Well, I used maybe this one once. That one maybe once. Just to kind of play with it. I'm just going to use my little brush. Oops, I'm holding the camera at the same time. So let me show you. All I do is put it on like this. Silly me. I don't really need that much makeup and lately I even experimented with it and put it up higher. I saw a girl once when we were at the mall she had it way up here so I thought I tried so I'm just going to put it way up there but usually I don't I just put it on the eyelid you see the difference? Let's do it on the other side. Now I'm going to put it on this eye.
that's how I usually do it, just like this. And it's not expensive. And look, I look fresher. I like to put a little makeup on now. Like I said, because I'm getting older and it makes me look fresher. And, you know, when you look so tired, it kind of makes you look better if you put makeup on. So, uh, I think I can put it up here too for now. I just do that now, but I don't know if that's actually how you do it. I really just don't know. I actually thought of, well, I never plucked my eyebrows. All my life never did. And I'm quite a bit older now. And I thought, what if I, after I learned how to pluck them a little bit and cut them, put a little bit of this um, eyeshadow up on the eyebrows. So I just did, and I experimented with it. Sometimes I did it with the eyeliner, and sometimes I do it just with that same one. That enhances the look a little bit, you see? I'm going to color my hair too, again with henna. And uh, I hope you enjoy the makeup tutorial. Just don't forget, smile. That is a very good makeup and it's the inner beauty too, you know, just combine it or you want to have a totally natural look and no makeup at all, that's fine too. Because your inner beauty will radiate out. Just remember. We turned the camera off, didn't turn off right away. I have seen before that some people um, and put on different colors um, on the eyelids. I guess I don't really know exactly how, but maybe you can just uh, make it your own look. However, you you just play around and just figure it out. I guess, or you watch some people on YouTube that know what they are doing. Figure out which color you prefer. Everybody has their own color they like. And see how it looks on you, okay? I hope you enjoy it. I had not used this in many years. I didn't even think I had some still. I must obviously have bought this probably about eight years ago. And like I say, said... I don't know if I said it in the film that I, uh, I'm going to choose to use, so I'm going to say it again. I don't like mascara. I don't know why I don't like the look of mascara. I always put mascara on many years ago when I was like 20 and when I first got married and all, also at age 14 and 15. But I don't like mascara now anymore. Let's go see if it even works anymore or if it's all dried out. Yeah. Yes, it's still alright. I can show you what it looks like with it on. Look, that's how I look like without mascara. And now I'll put some more. Let's do it. Let me get the mirror a little bit set here so I can see it. Okay. Uh, not though. It doesn't look all that well. Sometimes, I don't know um, if the women or girls that put on 
the makeup on the top lashes also put it on on the bottom lashes or it depends I guess what you look you like I think this is a brown you can't see it as well but I can feel it that it's a bit wet it's just not black choose whatever you want what if you want a black one you know or brown I guess yeah whatever I dipped it in some more now if I uh, would play someone in a role play or so then I would put even um, fake eyelashes on um. mm -hmm. and if you go with it a little bit like left and right you kind of put like a line under there a bit make it more darker you know I don't know if I came out all right. So, let me get some lipstick. I think a lot of blonde women like fire red lipstick or pink lipstick. I don't like that quite as much. I like a little bit. A different color, I don't know how you say to that color. Let me show you. And you know what? I, I heard that some people, some women don't like to smile because they don't want to get wrinkles. Oh my God, I'd rather smile. I would rather smile and have wrinkles. Now look at my wrinkles. I'm going to leave them alone. You know, I'm going to leave them alone. This is not the most important thing in the world. To have wrinkles or not to have wrinkles. I found another mascara. It's completely dried out. Yeah. When someone asked me for a makeup tutorial, I was a bit scared to make one. Remember my whisper film? Yeah, I used to whisper. This is, I don't know what color. This is the color of the lipstick, let me show you. Yeah, you can see what it looks like on my whisper film. I guess this one got a little melted in the hot car. I left my pills in the car. It got really hot outside. And I forgot to get it out. How do you like this one? Silly me. That's the one I applied. Then I showed you the whisper one. And then I bought one more like a little kind of almost brown. Then I got the red one. And this one I guess kind of I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Stick with that one right now. You know what I mean, lipstick. <laughs> then I bought this liquid eyeliner for a dollar and it did not work out for me. I'd rather have the one at Sephora that I saw to make a cat eye when I wanted to make a cat eye. But I show you how I made a little bit of cat eye uh, with the other one that I bought at the uh, Dollar General for two dollars. Okay, hold on. Let me show you and then I have, hold on, get some more light. Let me show you, then I have this uh, black eyeliner. I did on the eyebrows sometimes and I tried it like for a cat eye, that does not work. And then I got this brown one that I used years ago. Now that is 
Um, I think also Estee Lauder, yes. And um, I think I used it for the eyebrows. Or maybe to make a line above on the eyelids. But when I do that, I usually don't wear um, uh, so much of the eyeshadow. Thailand all that I found. I thought it was so interesting. Put it in my purse in case I don't have any paper to send one. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, got some combs in there just in case I have to comb my hair when we're out. And then I have this eyeliner I bought at Double Channel. And this one worked out the best, the cheapest. Best one, the best cheaper eyeliner was this one. I I tried a couple of them, but I couldn't afford a ten dollar eyeliner. So, oh, that's L L A colors. Um, um, that's the one I used for my cat eye. Like I said, I still have to learn how to make a cat eye better. I've only done it a couple. Let me show you something else new that I have in here. You can put a lipstick in there. I got it once from Chinatown. From some store in Chinatown. I love this. I love things like this. From other countries. That's me. That's me. I love it. You can put other stuff in there. Besides lipstick, if you want to. <laughs> what am I doing? It's in my purse or something. Well, I got my wool in here. <laughs> and my paddle. And my crochet hook. I love crocheting. And I'm making a hat. I could show you sometime how to make a hat, but I have a um, another YouTube channel called my new channel and I haven't put much film up films up on it but I'm planning to put more films up like how to crochet in the round and stuff and how to knit more. I think I have a knitting film on Blossom Michael also. Now let me show you this one. Look, let me show you. It says black on it, you see. Yeah, what does it say? It black. Now, you can achieve different looks. Of course, you can make your eyes all really black. This is the one I made the cat eye with last time. So I'm just not going to make the cat eye tonight. Maybe I'll add it to the video, I don't know. And like I said, I'm going to color my hair. Now my hair is pretty thin. But it, it got a lot thicker. Because I used the Kopf Massage Gerät. The um, head massage device. Head massage tool. And this is the way I look with makeup. With and without. I cleaned my teeth a little bit. 
They always get so stained from the black teas that I'm drinking. They look a lot better now. I ran out of the tooth polish. It's the same ones that the dentists use. So I just clean them myself and I will clean them more. Just keep brushing your teeth so you won't get any cavities.